How's it going everybody? It is Ethan and Cutter. Welcome back to Let's Build Twitter. It is episode 51. In this episode, we go back through and try to figure out what's wrong with the date because in the previous episode, we found out that if you put in a date that is not a double digit, it actually breaks things as well as a day. So we build out a whole new function to go ahead and convert those into double digit dates no matter what it is and fix that up as well as start taking a look at some of the styles on the drop down button. That way it looks just like the other drop down. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code and I'll show you guys how we did this. So cool. That's working. Fortunately, I can't can go back to the other step that's fine probably i guess you probably shouldn't be able to but whatever i guess they want to update their phone number more than once it's not going to kill them so we still have this other issue where if the date is less than double digits or the or the days less than double digits it's an issue so i'd like to kind of fix that really quick before we do what i want to wrap up so let me do a little bit of looking this episode's going to be super long uh, recording wise but i'll chop it up see they're going to be inside registered date input so here we check to make sure oh that's email input i thought that i don't know why i thought i clicked on date registered date input so we get the months we get the day we get this so whenever we set all of this we update register where do we actually set the set valid that's fine where's the dispatch for okay there so valid do, do, do update state are we calling it we're calling in here update state so that's not where that is inside the update state saying string value string number and we're saying name is whatever we pass in here. So where do we actually call update state at? We're calling it here in the dispatcher. So we need to go into the validated date selector. Validated date selector here on our dispatcher name to lowercase and then the target value the plus is turning it into a into a number here. So what we're gonna have to do is say if that's the issue it's turning it into a number Probably because so what we're gonna have to do instead is before we make the actual request to the back end, we need to change it. So maybe let's take a look at our slice. Here we're doing the whole date of birth. Whenever we register a user, we have our user. User is a register user. And where is this register user coming from? Probably from register form three. Here we are. So what we're gonna have to do is change the date of birth here. So we'll say should probably go into a date util. So let's go into the date util real quick and what we'll do is say and we already x stringified a date we'll say export const clean date for request this will take in a date dob like so which is a this will return i guess a string that's fine yeah. So this is similar to what we're doing here. Um, so what we'll say is if date dot, um, and it's a month and a day thing. So if date dot month is less than 10, we want to say, let um, month equal to date.month for a second here. So if date.month is equal or is less than 10, we'll say month is equal to this backtick dollar sign uh, zero and then date.month. So we'll add a zero there. And I need to say this is a string. It's not gonna work. So it's either that, otherwise month is equal to, and then we'll just do back takes dollar sign uh, date dot month. Okay. We'll also say if, and we'll say date dot day is less than 10. We'll do the same thing. We'll say let day. We'll say string equal to empty for the time being. We'll say day equal to back takes 
uh, zero dollar sign date dot day and otherwise day will be equal to um, dollar sign date dot day okay and then finally what we'll do is do something like this so do this return so instead of this it'll be date dot year this will be month this will be day now hopefully this fixes this if not i'll have to go back to the drawing board go ahead and import the um what i call that this clean date for request from dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash uh and this is utils slash date utils and now this dob will be clean date for request and then pass in state dot uh, DOB. So now I don't know if this is actually going to work, but we can try real quick. So let's go ahead and pass in. Refresh, go back to the front. We'll say testing. Uh, testing. Um, testing date. Date at mail.com. And we'll do like January 4th. And then we'll say 2000. Fingers crossed this works. I've never seen this bug before, so I don't know why it wasn't working. Um, but let's try this, I guess. And it's all good now. So that fixed it. Terrific. And then we can do our phone number. 555-555-1234. This should probably be unique, but it is what it is. And we're good to go. So the last thing we need to go ahead and do is go ahead and style this up a little bit better. So let's go ahead and hop back into our VS code. The first thing I'm going to want to do is close out of these things I don't need anymore after I just fix that bug. Go into our register form 4. And let's go ahead and import the... Um, and actually, this probably needs to be inside the dropdown, actually. Yeah, this probably needs to go into the dropdown, not in here. So if I go into the dropdown, and I probably need to go ahead and import the um, dot slash or dot dot slash and then validated input slash and then styled input dot CSS. I, I think that's what it's called. I don't quite remember. Oh, that's not what it's called. It's called validated input dot CSS. And this should didn't quite fix that. I thought it'd fix this drop down. Is there one other one? Um, and maybe I, oh, I bet I forgot a class on the select or something. So let me double check that. Either that or I never did the CSS for this and I was planning to come back to it. Yes, so this needs a class name on it. Figured, so class name is going to be validated dash input dash value and validated dash date dash selector save and there we go much better i knew that i probably forgot css somewhere all we had to do is import that style that we had before and now we're good to go ahead and start with the rest of this and now this is going to act just like all the other drop downs as we expect unfortunately that's going to be it for today if you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.